Hey everyone, my name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist, CLC, and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am here today for part two of our series on infant sensory development, specifically looking at ages zero to three months of age. Today we're going to dive into three more sensory systems and those are tactile, proprioceptive, and vestibular. First, let's talk a little bit about the tactile system or our sense of touch. Our sense of touch is what babies use as their first way to explore the world after birth. Infants will use both their hands and also their mouths to explore different textures and learn more about the environment around them. There are a couple different toys that I like to encourage the, in the development of the tactile system. First, I love to look at different textured books, um, whether it is a soft texture or a rough texture. I also really like these silicone books. They're really easy to wipe down. You could also work on things like play tissues, or you can actually use tissue paper or wrapping paper, um, a soft blanket you have around the house, um, or sometimes different boppy pillows um, have different textures in them. Crinkle books can also be a great thing to work on some tactile input. Um, and then finally, you can work on different rattles that have different textures, so a little bit harder and spiky, um, whereas some of these are soft. Another way you can work on tactile development is through a water mat. Um, and another variation of that is getting a gallon-sized Ziploc bag and putting some hair gel in it. I always double bag, um, but that can be a great way for infants to push and feel different textures as well. When working on these different types of toys and textures, I recommend introducing it to your infant both in tummy time and when they're playing on their back or inside lying. If your infant is good at pushing up into tummy time, some of these options like feeling the book while they're in tummy time, playing with the water mat or the gel can be a great way to work on that. If your infant isn't quite at the point of pushing up in tummy time, then engaging in any of these textures on their back or in side line can be a great way for them to work on it without it being too much of a gross motor uh, milestone for them to achieve at that point. The next system we will talk about is the proprioceptive system. And the proprioceptive system is really important because the proprioceptive system is how we tell where our body is at in space and how we safely move through our environment. So the proprioceptive system is actually what we develop long-term that helps us get through a crowded room without bumping into someone, know how much pressure to use when picking up a paper cup versus a glass cup, be able to feed ourselves and know where our fork is in relation to our mouth, all of those type of things. But it's also something that your infant can work on developing starting when they're born. When infants are progressing through different developmental milestones, they're going to be getting that proprioceptive input the more that they're moving. So when they're working on tummy time, they're pushing up on extended arms, they're getting proprioceptive input specifically through um, their shoulders and their arms. Um, as they're working on crawling and walking, they're getting it more through their feet as well. One way that I really love to work on some proprioceptive input is actually bouncing on the ball. So this is great. You can either do it in a supported sitting, um, but typically for infants under three months, I'll do it in tummy time. I'll just do some light bouncing back up and down. You could also do some rocking back and forth, and that's working on where your infant is in space. You can also do a little bit of bouncing on your leg, so you can either have your infant in tummy time and do some bouncing, or even laying in supine and doing a little bit of bouncing. Um, and you can also work on things such as moving around the room and just exposing your infant to different positions. Any of your developmental positions from zero to three months of age, so your tummy time, your sideline play, and your back play are also going to be providing some proprioceptive input just with where the body is in space and how you're using different muscles. Um, but either using a ball or some gentle bouncing on your lap can help with the development of that proprioceptive system. Um, and finally, you can do some, some body stretches and then also some back and forth games with your infant to further develop this. So one body stretch I really like for development of that proprioceptive input is the cross body stretch. It gives a little bit of input to where the arm is to the opposite leg. 
and helps infant bring that across. And then another thing you can do is push and pull type games with your infant. Um, so typically I will do these when they're sitting on my lap, but I will start to play games like patty cake, raising their arms up, clapping together, or even having them push into my arms because that will get a little bit of proprioceptive input as well. The final sensory system we're gonna talk about is the vestibular system. This is also an internal sense. And the vestibular system is how our body moves through space, but specifically it's looking at our balance and our motion. Um, there are a lot of different ways that we can work on the system. And there is also a lot of overlap between activities we would do for this system and for the proprioceptive system. More, most commonly when we talk about vestibular system, a lot of times people think of swinging. So swinging can be a great way to work on this, whether your infant is in an infant swing or they're sitting on your lap and swinging, that can be a great way to get input. You can also get input by dancing around with your infant. Um, that gives them more novel input. One thing I also like to do is kind of flying around the room in tummy time, so their head would be up you would be moving around this way. And then you can also work on activities on the ball as well. So again, this can be a great one if we're in tummy time for going back and forth and side to side. If you have any questions regarding your infant's development, please reach out and we would be more than happy to answer any questions. Thanks so much.